folks, it's Sunday. Welcome aboard the Margu campaign, aka Tri Generational campaign. You're going to see how three generations handle a little game of DD. If you are a longtime viewer, welcome back. Thanks for coming back. If you're a first time viewer, oh, hang on to your ass. One of these guys is naked and another one's tied up. Uh, it doesn't get much better than that. Follow us on Twitch, follow <laughs> us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive if you want to shoot the shit about D&D with us, join our Discord. And if you want to buy cool stuff like a shirt or a phone case or a, a bath mat, which, yeah, I, I, I bought the bath mat. I really bought the bath mat. Uh, check out our store. Uh, most importantly, if you want to join us on a one-shot, say like next Saturday, or on the talk shows on Tuesday, hit us up, mhobo Inc. Gmail or Twitter, uh, we will get you on there. Uh, give you about two hours worth of fun, we think. Uh, over to our sponsors. Thank you, Pirate Dog Dice, for giving us dice that roll really well. And Man Fang does not have his, so it's back to norm for him. Uh, and if your game stinks, unlike this one, because it doesn't stink at all, uh, try a little adventure sense in your life. Makes everything smell better. Uh, those guys over at Oddfish Games do a fantastic job of giving a added depth uh in the in the nasal cavity for you and they also uh if you want to write uh, use the shine system uh which is also their product check them out oddfishgames.com like i said this is the margu campaign aka tri-generational let's introduce you to everybody and then we'll do a recap uh starting us out aj who are you who do you play hey there i'm aj i'm playing felix the great and uh, I don't really have anything else to say about it. I don't know. <laughs> Nor can you. Uh, that's, that's it. In case you were wondering, folks, if you saw the tweet, that was him. Uh, him and his beloved Zonky Buttercup for the time being. Rest in peace. Next up what? is the senior member of the crew, Frank. What did he just say? <laughs> <laughs> Happy Easter, Alex. <laughs> I am Frank Sr., and I am Leaf the Druid, a well-known zonkey breeder. Ew, 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 no, no. See, that, nobody knows that but you and I, because those were all PMs, so. <laughs> I don't, and I'm a little shocked at the reaction here. What, what the hell do you guys think I'm talking about? Oh, I'm, going in the, I'm going into business. You're in the business, all right. All uh, right. I'm pimping out buttercups starting today. We're going to be believe. matching handprints once we get back down to the stables. There there might be some kind of uh, adventure scent for that. Adventure scent for that? Yeah. Uh, next up is Jason. Jason, tell us about yourself. Tell us about your character. All right. I'm stuck on what the adventure scent for a horse whore is, but... <clears throat> a lot of hay. A lot of hay. <laughs> Alfalfa. Um, That'd be I, more like what the hey. I, I am uh, Copious Full Bitters the third, the Gnomish Witch and Brewmaster Extraordinaire, and currently not bound in gags or naked. Speaking of naked, uh, that brings us to Nicholas. Nicholas, tell us about your character. Tell us about you. Hi, I'm Haggis of Crapstain. Always a crowd favorite, ladies and gentlemen. You'll see his picture here <laughs> shortly as well. Last but certainly not least, for the time being, we've got another one joining us at five. Uh, little Frank, who are you? Who do you play? Hi, I am Man Fang, Battle Axe Master, Knowledge Man, Great Scar, Great Looks, just all around amazing person. Now, when you say Battle Axe Master, you're talking about a weapon and not that you are unmarried, correct? Just want to clarify that. Weapon, yes. Weapon. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Didn't I'm just a young, innocent boy. What could you mean? You had a proposal of marriage, did you not, Man Fang? Yep, right out the chute. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. You yeah, could remember that in the very yeah. beginning when I got out of the cage, I think. Yeah, you were at the roadhouse, a different roadhouse entirely from where they're at. Yeah. Folks, these guys are at Smidgey's Roadhouse in the Halfling Kingdom of Drake. Glary, supposed to be a really short overnight stay, has turned into somewhat of a quagmire as of last week. Giggity, giggity. Uh, giggity, giggity. These, guys, <laughs> these guys came in and this is essentially... <laughs> hey, 
a, a medieval truck stop, complete with a variety of things. Uh, two of our party members uh, took the lead and got themselves the finest accommodations in this vast building and were looking forward to a restful sleep. Uh, they even had some reading material to it, the Firestone Culinary Guide to Drake Larry, which offered a snippet about our own copious V. Bitters the third brewmaster extraordinaire. Uh, this has garnered him some unique attention. Now, last week, if you didn't see it, go watch it. <laughs> go watch it because uh as i pointed out one of them is naked haggis crap stain uh not exactly wise to the ways of the world uh took shall we say a dare or a bet uh removed his clothes and had them promptly stolen he stands in the middle of this vast roadhouse <laughs> wearing an apron but apparently only to hear until Smidgey comes by and lowers it each time. Uh, another member of the party, Felix, uh, fell to the whims of an enchanting half-orc and found himself bound and gagged in leather restraints. And he also discovered that she is a bounty hunter and has a wanted poster of all of these dudes. As we ended, the bounty hunter uh, announced to Copious Vol Bitters that she too was an amateur ale master in training, and they have struck up a conversation. Leaf, along with Robert of Zeppelin, who will be joining us later, and Manfang are trying to figure out what to do about Haggis Crapstain's nudity issue because all of his shit has been stolen. So we will start with, uh, let's start with the big group. Uh, Felix, Leaf, Huggis, and Manfang. As you wait for Smidgey to return the clothing from his three beautiful daughters, Mimsy, Whimsy, and Maud, uh, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm going to keep struggling to try to find a way out of these bonds. Sure. It's, it's going to be an ability check, so give me your best noting that a crit does not automatically succeed. Which ability? We'll go with dex. I'll give you your option, dex or wisdom. You're no haggis. Ah, that's that's, gonna be that's dex. true. Nat 20. 23. It's an, it's an ability check. 23. 23. You're pretty sure it's starting to loosen. So you, you, you're pretty sure you're making headway. Uh, folks at home, Felix is locked away in a private room upstairs. Uh, Leaf, Haggis, and Manfang, what do you three want to do? Uh, I think that I, we should situate the naked problem above anything else. Nice. Is there a problem? One of them again. Is. is there uh, anything around here that we can wrap Haggis up in? Is there like a tablecloth or something? He's, he's got an apron on. Is there like but, a lost and found? We could... He keeps hiking it up. Uh, uh, <laughs> you would have to go over to the office. I'll go over to the right office right? and see if we can, if there's anything here he can put on while they're finding and see if they're doing any good finding the three that stole his clothing. Sure. Well, I, we could also look for them too. Like, you know, why would we? we no, you're not getting that stuff back. We might be able to. You never know. Uh, so, you guys are going to make your way over here to yeah. the office where you will meet Smidgey's cousin, the guy in charge. Leaf, you will recognize him because you've already purchased a room. What do you want to ask him or tell him? I'm going to ask him what progress has been made in finding the three of his people. <clears throat> who stole Haggis's clothing and stuff. Let me check on that. He drops the blind, shutting you out. Uh, you <laughs> hear some murmuring behind the screen. Uh, several newcomers come into Smidgey's Roadhouse and immediately see the full moon growing behind Haggis because the apron does not completely wrap around. Uh, this causes some consternation and some unusual looks. Uh, Haggis, D12 against me. Uh-oh. Okay. Let's see how many people come over and palm you. Um, uh, two? 
Oh, you have an admirer. Uh, the admirer is odd male, even female. Sure. 11. Man. That is an odd, and an 11 is going to put them into uh, a human form. Uh, the individual uh, comes over and begins uh, to banter with you and asks you if this is the new dress code for this. Oh, God. Um, you're a halfling, right? It. Um, yeah. Yeah, he probably thinks you're about 12. Yeah. <laughs> um, you can state that you're a No, it is not. Then why is your butt hanging out, son? Um, well, um, my clothes were um, stolen from me. There's thieves in this place? Um, no, it was just the daughters of the, of the guy who owns the place. So thieves. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, go ahead and give me a perception check there, Hoggis. You're a very perceptive man. You got this. If you said it, you recovered. 14. 14. Uh, you notice this guy and his friends are heavily armored and look like military individuals, have nice little tattoos of an eagle eating a dove on their arm. Cool. <clears throat> um, <laughs> so where are you guys from? We're from uh, the island. Give me an arcana check. Um... um. 12? Yeah, you know what the island is. The island is uh, normally known as Itu. It is a paladin stronghold. They are a militaristic group, heavily armored and very good with the blade. They would be considered professional killers if they didn't uh, perform certain rites with their deity. Uh, some would view them as killers. Others view them as paladins. In any event, these guys are not ones that you... Uh, would kind of mess with. And they seem quite out of place in the halfling kingdom. <clears throat> Although, let me get this window up and I'll show you. Uh, <clears throat> it's not completely out of the realm of imagination that the paladins of E2 uh, would travel there. But uh, these guys are hard. They, Think of them as Navy SEALs or commandos. These guys are hardcore fighters. <clears throat> I don't know what they're doing there, but well, they're looking at your ass right now. <laughs> cool. I'm gonna I'm gonna tap on the sort of blind that they pull down to see like, hey, are you guys still help, there? Help! <laughs> help! <laughs> Big man, um, please. Just a minute, uh, Copious. Uh, you and Dalton, the Ranger, are having a um, Great conversation, uh, even though you are a little bit skeptical because you don't like competition. And she actually says, I would really appreciate an opinion on, on, on one of my first batches. And I, I know you probably get this all the time, but you know, somebody who is famous for knowing their stuff, if I could get your input on this, that would be amazing. I, 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 I'll even pay you if you want. Well, uh, so Copius is very suspicious only because of the threat of competition. Sure. Um, <laughs> because originally he was totally suckered in by the, the false flattery because that just strokes his ego and he eats mm -hmm. that up. So I, I would like to make an insight check <clears throat> to see if he's picking up on any bad vibes. Sure. And historically, this does not go well for Copius. <laughs> oh, 24. Uh, yeah, she's, 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 she's excited. Uh, and she pulls forth a very small flask wrapped in leather so it doesn't break. Uh, and you can tell that there's a, there's just a trepidation. Uh, and from what she said, she, she's very concerned about your opinion. That is what you are picking up on. Do the best of your knowledge. Do the best. You had to take a drink to hide the smile on that one. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> All right, yep. so he's so she's passing it over. He's going to ask her about it. What's what's in it? The ingredients and 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 find out what you know, 
what the, the basis of the, the brew is? It has a uh, wild wheat. It has elderberry. It's got a hint of uh, peach shavings. Uh, and it's got a uh, special water that is brewed on the Eastern coast. Uh, they, they, uh, they call it a, uh, a, uh, a, a filtered water. They run the water through uh, a kelp like substance and that uh, cleanses it of its impurities and it gives it a nice fresh taste. But I think it's the elderberry, in my opinion, and I am only a novice, I, I think the elderberries is what really provides the kick on that. Although, the, you know, the, the white oats. I, uh. So I, so Copia still has his doubts over her only because of the nature sure. of the interaction. Yeah. Even he's not that stupid. Um, comes close. So he, he, uh, assuming, are we sitting at a table at this point? Mm -hmm. uh, with cups, with drinks? Yep. In front of us? Okay. Um, Even finger food, little snacks. They're called pork rinds. You don't know what the, nobody really knows what's in a pork rind. No, I was going to so, say, even, you know. even in reality, we don't know what. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so here's here's what Copius would like to, to try to try to do. Um, now he's curious because, of course, if he thinks he can steal this recipe and send it back to the Volbitters Brewery, so much the better. She's claiming it is a beer that she has in this little flask, right? Correct. So what he's going to do is use prestidigitation to create a distraction, sure, and then attempt to pour. Uh, some of the the elixir that's in there in both of our cups. Sure. So that's what he's he's going to cast the press the digitation to see if she is distracted by that. <clears throat> is there a save or? Uh, it would just be her save for there's because no one usually uses that spell except for Copius. Uh, it's just he's causing a sensory a little explosion. A dove flies out from <laughs> it's magic. And flies out from behind her head. Uh, with the first one of the night, she immediately turns and watches the stuff float away. Uh, give me a dex check uh, to make sure that you can do this quickly. Can I uh, use sleight of hand on that? Sure, I'll give you sleight of hand. Uh, 20. Dirty oh, 20. yeah. Oh, yeah, piece of cake. Yeah, you do that. And she goes, um... um your friends are in trouble. And you, do you want to look where she's pointing? Not really. Okay. <laughs> friends? The, you mean the guys who work for me? Uh, Ain't no sense in him caring now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, that one is talking to E2 guys. That, uh, that, uh, that. Oh, I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine. Hey, listen, I want to why try is he to naked. Drink. Do you know why he's naked? <laughs> oh, Felix is always naked for some reason. Oh, no, no. This is uh, Haggis. Oh, yeah. And Felix he says, does, oh, oh. does he know that it's Haggis? Did you say it's Haggis? Oh, yeah. It's because remember, uh, Haggis is crap stained. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, Haggis crap -stained. pulling out his roll bitters brew. And offering uh -huh. to pour some into her cup so we can, so this, so but for comparison, for her benefit. I would love that. I would really love that. All right. So, uh, Copius is going to go ahead and, and um, pretend to take a sip of hers and, and invite her to, to do the same. And he's watching intently because he, and he tells her, I'm watching intently because I'd love to see the reaction the first time someone tries the bull bitters. Oh no, I, I I can certainly understand that. I I I have serious reservations that your friends might be biting off more than they can chew, though. You, uh, uh, oh, uh, okay. I'm I'm very sorry. Okay, uh, my that's, apologies. That's what them. what, what do we do? What are we doing? Oh, here. Uh, he he pours. He shows her. He's been pouring Volbitter's best into hers to try. Very good. Uh, and he's got the cup with hers and says. Please try try the Volbitter's best. Tell me what you think. Since you've said you're a fan, I'd love to see a fan drink a, a sample. Sure. <laughs> and, uh, and then he's going to tell her, I have a sample of Volbitter's Black Label for you to try after you try this. This is the more mundane brew. Gotcha. So 
Uh, D12 against me. Lost issue, Vonis. Two. Excellent. She reaches over and oh, I am so I, I'm so sorry. And she grabs a little towel off and she starts to, I am so sorry. I hope this was not expensive. I am so sorry. She's knocked over the cup. This this is the craziest and most intelligent character we've ever had in this game. You <laughs> think? Said, he says, not a, not a problem at all. Here, here. Um, I'll tell you what. Let let me go get another cup for you, uh, and then we'll we'll and then I'll come back. And he immediately stands up, steps away from the table, um, and and then begins to proceed towards the bar, keeping her more or less in his his uh, peripheral vision. Now uh, that works. Do you look over at these guys? No, he that that wasn't an act. Copius doesn't care. <laughs> It's just, it's just, they're fine. Okay, you got up to if the if the house yeah, starts to burn, you'll know something's going wrong. How long have you been doing this? <laughs> yeah, you you head over to the bar to get a new cup. Felix, D twelve against me. Twelve. Seven. Uh no, you were not loosening that. <laughs> that feels like it's biting. Go ahead and re-roll. Another D20 or D12? D20. With your uh, dexterity. Another nat 20. So 23. This time Are you sure it's not loosening? This time you're sure it is loosening. Okay, you figured it out. You've done this. So you're starting to get a little bit looser. Uh, Leaf and Manfang. Uh, this, this human dude with the tattoo seems to take a special interest in Haggis. Uh, and he is. I'm going to tell Haggis it doesn't uh, it just interrupt that whole deal and say, Haggis, let's go search for ourselves. Uh, hey, whoa, 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 whoa. That's a good whoa. idea. Maybe we should whoa, go. friend, uh, he and I were having a discussion. It's considered rude and to go ahead and interrupt. And well, I'm going to say go. the discussion yeah. is over. Are you his father? Yes, I am. Then maybe you and should. And I'll thank some... you to leave my nine year old son alone. You should put some britches on that boy. Well, we're going to. Some of the little girls in the place stole his pants, and we're off to find them. Best of and, luck. Yep. I'm going to start herding Manfang and Haggis away from the office. I'm going to ask, where are we going? I thought we were getting close. We're going to head over to the We're going to head over to the workers' quarters. All right. Uh, I guess you're intimately familiar with that area. Uh, Actually, I do know the way to that area. We'll go guys... there and look first. We'll check every room. We'll look everywhere. Did I remember you, the room I was in, too. Did you lift your apron as you started to walk through the bar again? I, I learned my lesson. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm good. I'm, I'm fine. fine 50, not... 50 gold pieces says you haven't. <laughs> uh, you guys head over. Uh, you notice that the door to get into the little uh, alcove where several rooms are is locked. It does take a key and none of you are employees. I happen to have a key. Oh, and I'll use it, it to open the door. Is it a boot? The key? Mm-hmm. No, it's a magic key. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Yes, it uh, is right. And I haven't forgotten about it. That's right. You insert it, pop in, door opens up, no problems. There's a short uh, hallway. There are, I believe, two doors on the left and two doors on the right and one straight ahead. So, Haggis, uh, two on the left, one straight ahead, two on the right. Which one is it? Hmm. Well, the one I was in was the one that was the far one on the right. I was in that one. but well, why, why don't we just check them all and we'll just start with the closest one to the door we came in. Yeah, that, yeah. let's start in the one on the left side okay. from the closest to the door. We should uh, split up. That's a great thing to do. No, we're going to stay it's a small. It's a small area, but yeah. yeah. Uh, who wants to open the door? First door on the left. Man Fang, D12 against me. Hey, yay. Uh, where's my D12? Did I give you one? No, you didn't. I'll go grab it. Oh, one. I'm sorry. Come here. I got one for you. Here. 
Yeah, you can open the door. So I'll we'll roll for him, then he can come get it. Sure. Twelve. Ah, uh, there is nobody in this room. It is uh, occupied with a single bed, uh, a single lamp on a single table, but there is nobody in here. But she's nothing. Not looking around, we don't see anything in here. No, yeah, it's. Uh, I mean, there's clothes. This is this is an employee uh, bedroom. Uh, keep in mind, this room is maybe seven by seven. Right, so, right. Yeah, it's it's going to be tight okay. quarters. We'll look, take a quick look under the bed and don't see any of his stuff under there. Let's go to the next room then. Uh, who's opening this door? Uh, uh, no, Leif, you. Uh, I will. D12 against me. I, I ran out of luck. Seven. Six. This room is also empty. Uh, it has two beds in it, two end tables in it, two lanterns. Uh, looks to be a paired off room. Um, uh, on initial quick search inspection, business as usual. Okay, we'll proceed to the next one. That's all the, the ones on the left, right? Correct. The next one would be the straight ahead, and it is a loo. I'll we'll check the loo then, and nothing in there but a loo. <clears throat> There's someone in there. D12 against me. <laughs> Four. <laughs> Five. Uh, 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 <laughs> a, let's see. Odd male. Occupado, occupado. A female shrieks loudly as she attempts to cover up as she sits on the loo. You have caught her in a compromising position. Haggis, you do not recognize this female, and shouting begins. Ah! And I, I'll say, damn, honey, light a match and shut the door. <laughs> ah! Screaming echoes throughout the chamber. Oh, wait, I can't get caught again by, by, by him. Where are I? Uh, we got 50 gold work? pieces riding on it that you can. <laughs> 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 and so far, it's looking like payday. This is good. Um, Okay, let's uh, let's get through the other ones quickly. Yep. Okay, so now, next door. First off, I'm going to do perception at disadvantage to see if anybody hears. Okay, just just a quick question. I'm asking this for a friend. Can I get underneath one of those beds? Just in case. yeah, you guys look under the beds. Okay, cool. Just yeah, just close. Double sevens. Uh, no one currently hears the screams. Uh, the next one up is the far one on the right that Haggis okay. says he was in. We'll, we'll check it. D12. Uh, 11. Four. It is empty. We'll search this one also. Cool. Uh, Haggis, D12 against me. Eight. Nope, your shit's not in here. Uh, leave D12 against me. Let's see if the individual screams. Uh, 11 again. Eight. Uh, she's still screaming, but the door's still shut. Good. We'll go to the next room. Uh, last room, D12. Nine. Three. It's empty as well. It has uh, a double bed in it. One single lantern, one single thing. Uh, no clothes. His shit ain't here. Okay. All right. That's it for this. Then let's move on to the next area. Yeah. Uh, you hear the hiking of clothes in that uh, Lou alcove. You just, hiking of clothes. Or somebody put on her clothes. You mean her? Can we block the door so she can't tell anybody? No. Else? Let's just let's just head out of here. Yeah, she won't be able to see anything. We'll be gone. Yeah, by the time. Yeah, we'll be gone. There, right. That sounds right. That sounds about right. <laughs> yeah. she, uh, let, uh, maybe we should go check the part where um, they, the like important people sleep. Like, um, that were. Uh, like Haggis and Leaf? Well, these or are. I'm thinking. Well, well, like, I was thinking of not like the, I think the. the, the Hoggis, the these people work here. I think we need to check places 
that are associated with the with the the roadhouse, and it might not be a bad idea to check the damn stable. <laughs> oh, we could do that. We could do that. We could try this. <laughs> Wait, are you two or just want to go to the stable? <laughs> So where do you want to head? Do you want to go where the important people stay or the stables or somewhere else? Go the put, put the map back up, would you please? I kind of want to see Smidge's sort of area where he sleeps because I feel like well, his Well, it was you be... wanting to see Smidge's area is what got this shit all started to begin with. Smidge's area is in the G section. We should go for G. That's the to... office area that's secure. What's the uh, one in the, in the top uh, left corner? Other Right there. Private Gamblers. Okay. What's the top right? Is that just a magic one's shop? A buffet. Okay. Yeah, we got to right. head back to the office. I think that's where we need to. Yeah. Let's so go back to the office again. Going. You guys pass through the half walls, walk straight over here. Uh, Copious, uh, you are in line with a female uh, waitress, a pretty little thing. Uh, she has got a very substantial order that she is relaying uh, to the people here at the bar. Uh, you check, you check, D12 against me. 10. Uh, she's still sitting there, uh, keeping an eye uh, as your associates walk all the way across again. Uh, Haggis is only wearing an apron. <laughs> But she is sitting there waiting. Notices that you are looking at her. Copious away. Okay. Uh, and and I see my compatriots crossing back through the open area again, right? You follow her gaze as she watches the three amigos cross the, the, the road. Copious. <laughs> Bottom. I am Dusty Bottoms. I'm being crap stained. You are being crab stained. Uh, the waitress looks at you and goes, aren't you with that naked guy? Uh, Felix? Yeah, I don't know. Where is someone saying? Uh, where Felix? Felix? That, that, that naked guy is Felix? Oh, the she, apron? It, it, Copious is intentionally playing dumb here. Oh, oh, do you okay. mean the halfling? Oh, I yeah. thought he was with the, I thought he was part of the entertainment. Oh, ah, no, I just wondered because uh, I thought I saw you guys come together. Oh, I was traveling with a group of, of folks. Aren't you uh aren't you that magic salesman guy? Yes. Oh yeah, my boyfriend got some stuff from you he didn't like. Different magic salesman. I, I specialize in other magic. Would you like to taste this magic? He pulls out, he's gonna start his whole copious bull bitters, bull bitters brewery spiel to the, the waitress. Sure. Yeah, and, sure. and offer an opportunity for her owner if he, they would like to try it. We can set them up with the distillery or the, with the brewery for shipping and um, distribution. Sure. Uh, give me a D4 to see how long her interest holds. Probably not long. Two. Two minutes. You got her. So she's a line and sinker. She tastes it. Now, are you giving her the regular stuff or the black label? Black label, which I think I should get an advantage roll on. This is the black label. Okay, I'll give you advantage. Uh, 15 and a 2. So initially it goes down a little bit harsh on her, but she's... <clears throat> That's the 11 herbs and spices you're tasting right there. It just takes a minute for it to build in. I see that. Yeah, it was a little yeah, harsh rip initially. Up. But, uh, I, you know, I like it. It kind of dulls the senses. I think uh, I, I think I, I would drink this. Yeah. So uh, is order there... up. Her order is filled, and she goes. I, I'm sorry. I, I I'd love another sample of that if you got it. So, uh, I'll add when she when she comes back. Maybe if she could introduce me to her her supervisor, I could give her another sample. You got it, love. Uh, and you notice something hanging out of her apron. Uh, can I? What do I notice hanging out of her apron? Looks like a jerkin, uh, something that Haggis might wear underneath his armor. <laughs> does it? Does it look really like Kobe? Can Kobe really? Kobe's just gonna roll to see if he really notices. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He 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 picks up uh, unmodified sixteen 
on perception. So it's clearly Haggis is all right. So Copius is going to follow where she's heading and keep her his eye on her now. There's one thing you can't stand is a is a thief. Fair enough. Speaking of thieves, uh, Felix, give me another roll. I roll another 20. I'm burning them all up here. Uh, not natural 20. Nice. You, you can feel it. This thing's loosening it up. This is great. You are almost gone. And the door opens. <laughs> I'm going to very quickly just pretend like all the progress that I've made has not, nothing has happened. It's exactly how it is. And I'm going to look at the door and see who opens it. It's uh, Dalton. Lovely. <laughs> Hello, my dove. Plans have changed. We need to go. I don't think I can speak, so I'm just going to be like, uh-uh. Yes, I'm afraid so. She takes a little vial out, pours it over your leather restraint in your mouth. Give me a con save. Uh. Uh, seven. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> and out you go. <laughs> uh, good news is she's not attacking Buttercup, so that's that, well, is, a huge, that is a huge plus. <laughs> uh, okay, Leaf, Haggis, Manfang, uh, you guys are back at the office. The yes. Thing is raised. Uh, the three gentlemen paladins from E2 are there trying to order rooms, and they seem very perturbed that their normal rooms have been sold to somebody. What do you mean our corner room has been sold? <laughs> I'm going to tell Hoggs, listen, let's go over there where Copius is at. We'll come back here after their time. Okay. Uh, you okay, guys walk, man, bang. Okay. You guys walk across the room. Uh, you get up there about the same time as Copius is done with the barmaid, Haggis. Uh, you recognize the barmaid as she walks away. Uh, her. Her. After her. Seize her, guards. Let's get her. Right, cool. And I say that. I would, sure, and, yeah, you can say that. What do you want to do? You want me to get the whore? I, I, I'm just really, I'm really, I'm really. I don't, I don't think, I don't think she is a whore at all. She might be a thief. Yeah. Thief. She's not a sex worker here. She is a uh, arcane trickster. I'll say. <laughs> oh, run her down. Okay. I mean, she is. She is headed left to right. Uh, Copious is coming to tell you, hey, I think she's got your shit. Well, I have one hand on the apron. And another. <laughs> Are you getting ready to flash somebody? Are you going to <laughs> you gotta tell us, Craig, you're going to tell us there's something hanging out of his apron. <laughs> you want me to chase after her. I'm just saying yeah. the facts. I only have one hand free. Fine. How many do you need? <laughs> He's holding the apron down. Whoa. Cover your shame, Haggis. Yeah, you go to head her off, and I'll cut her off from the rear. T t yeah, you guys go. You guys right. flank her. You guys right. flank her, and I'll confront her from okay. the front. So you guys all, flank. All four of you are gonna gonna flank her, right? <laughs> yes. This what? one. This four part. Part. <laughs> it's one no poor girl. Nobody's here watching this. He just went. Hey, she's got your stuff. Oh, okay. So, Leaf, you go left or right? Whatever. Yeah. Manfang, you go the other way. Yeah. You close in on her, and this waitress has a hefty tray of drinks. I, we're talking a lot of drinks here. Just as you reach her, she sets it down at a group of ruffians. Uh, these guys are all halflings, but they're all scarred up. Uh, they're wearing armor. Uh, one of them even has a little bit of blood in his beard. They, they look like they're pretty hardcore. She starts to put two mugs down at each one. Haggis, what do you want to do? Okay, I tap her on there. Wait, can I see my undergarment on her? Your t-shirt? Yeah, you can see it. Well, is it his t-shirt or is it like my underwear? It'll be the t-shirt underneath your armor. Hey, we don't okay. wear underwear, dude. We wear armor. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, 
So I yeah, I can see it. Under Armour. Okay. I grab it from her. D12. Okay. Six. 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 Pulling on it. She's just going to stand there. Nine. Uh, you grab a hold of it, spin her around, and she spills <laughs> 11 drinks into the table on the Halfling Warriors who... <laughs> get up she starts to apologize profusely to them and they move her out of the way it was him and I'm going to back away boy those were our drinks flip up your armor. apron flip up your apron exactly. <laughs> you're going to lift up your apron I I'm say sorry. yeah if you look at me <laughs> so you, you're going to lift the apron it's a rack of my- <laughs> you you owe me fifty gold pieces because Leaf <laughs> and Manfang, you see the leader go, Bam! <laughs> and he's holding his apron up and does not see it coming. And that's a nineteen on the die. <laughs> he connects and knocks you back afterwards for three hit points of damage. Uh, Leaf, Manfang. What you want to do? Uh, Copious, you're like, oop. <laughs> I, I, I will apologize. I'll say, he's an idiot. Don't mind him. I'll say, I'm super sorry. I, If I could pay for your drinks, I I would like to pay for your drinks. I'm very sorry. How much? Pers- persuade me. All right. Oh, big that man thing, the diplomat. Look at I know it, go. it. I love it. I love it. I'm staying out of this. Uh, for what it's worth, the Bob Trash family still has an open tab at the bar. <laughs> yeah, there you go. That's, that that is, is true. There's a 16 on persuasion because right, I have no pluses. So. They look at Haggis, uh, whose ass is in full of glory, and go, well, we ain't getting money out of that. <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, you can buy us drinks there, Scarface. I will buy you drinks. I will buy you. Uh, where is the uh, little halfling waitress at at this point? Uh, she's still in the mix. Okay. Uh, I would like to ask, I would like to ask her how much drinks cost that we accidentally spilled. 20 gold. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, no. They're thieves. Right. They're thieves. Hot Haggis is pulling his apron off over his head. Manfang, I'm gonna tell Manfang, just go back to the bar and order the drinks. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. And pay for them there. I'm gonna look at her and I'm gonna say, look, unless you want this to get out of hand, give him back his clothes. <sighs> well, he just took the one I had. Where's the rest of them? With my sisters. And where's your sisters? Oh, there's one over there. All right, ha- halfling, let's go. I guess. Let's get let's get her. Rhett, first off, man thing, you're going to the bar, correct? Yeah, he's gonna go for the bar and order drinks. Copious halfling don't beat us up. Copious. <laughs> It sounds really stupid when you say it out loud. Yeah, but they really could beat us all up. Huge midgets kicked our ass in the roadhouse. I ain't worried about them <laughs> kicking our ass. I'm worried about starting something inside here and having the whole place come after us. Uh, Copious, you are uh, over by the bar, I take it? At the same place I was when I spoke with the barmaid. So you see Man Fang coming. He heads up to the bar. Leaf and Haggis, you are talking to Whimsy. Uh, give me a perception roll. From us? Yep. Uh, 24. 13. What in the hell is that scraping noise? What? There's a scraping noise. That was like a blockhead being dragged across the water. <laughs> blockhead? Coming from above us? Yeah. Can we see anything? No. Well, I'm going to step out into the center of the room where I can see over the balcony. 
So you, you go over by Copious and Manfang? I don't know where anybody's at in here at this point. I just know that it's it's an open area with a balcony around it. I'm going to chase so the other I'm gonna, I'll step out where I can see up on the balcony where the scraping sound's coming from. Okay, so... I'm afraid it may be a monster. This is essentially the drop-through. Okay. Okay. Then uh, that's where I'm going to go. You guys are right here. Mm -hmm. And the scraping appears to be coming from this area right here. So then I will head up towards the A and look back to see if I can see where the scraping sounds coming from. Okay. Uh, you look up, give me an investigation check. Where, again, just on the newly revealed map again, where would you put Manfang and I at this moment? Okay, that's where I thought we were. So we should, if we are if we heard it, we theoretically could yeah. look up and see it as well, right? If you heard it, but you do not. Right. 17. Because originally they were right here. We were right underneath it. Yeah, uh, 17, uh, you, all you see are doors. Okay. Now I'm over by Copious now. Yeah, you're, you're this hard. I'm going to ask Copious, I'm going to go up Copious, say, have you seen Felix? No. The okay. care denoted in his tone. Oh no, that's that's <laughs> touches means, my heart. <laughs> yeah, that's what we expect from Copius. Like you ask the question, I answer. I got Felix it. Felix isn't here. I figure he's with sex workers on the <clears throat> second floor somewhere. To be honest with yep. you. <laughs> so what? I get back with Haggis and head for the other daughter. Okay, that's over here. Sleazy or whatever the hell her name is. Uh, this one is Mimsy. Yeah, like what Whimsy, Whimsy, and Maud. Maud's the gorgeous one. Oh, why can't it be Maud? We'll get to her. All right, we'll go up to Sleazy and uh, tell her we're there for Haggis' stuff. I'll be, I'll be right with you, boys. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no, no, no. no uh, I, I, sh I, I make myself known. I, I stand out there. Like, I literally make a scene. Don't lift your apron again. <laughs> okay. You're going to get punched. Uh, Leaf, uh, you made contact, D12. Uh, wait a minute, that's upside down. Six. The uh, table of women warriors uh, dressed in aboriginal outfits, probably from Pearl Bay, go, hey, hey, she is busy with us. You wait. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Jesus. The you're Amazonian, not lifting your apron again. The <laughs> All right. Yeah, lift that apron, buddy. <laughs> the Amazonian chicks uh, finished their order. Now, Wednesday, where are my crazy. clothes? Hey, stretch. How's oh, the hey. ankle? I mean, it's pretty pretty cool. I mean. I mean, if you want to do it again, we can. Always, I mean, I, you know, I quit my <laughs> ladies, this individual uh, is double jointed. He can do things that might interest you. The lead <laughs> Aboriginal woman looks at you. Death no. by Snoo Snoo, no, Haggis. Death by Snoo Snoo. <laughs> death by Snoo Snoo. That's all Felix ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, look at look at where it's gotten him. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I uh, say, Hoggis, let's just get your stuff and go on. We still gotta find my equipment. The other one. My equipment, um, yeah. ma'am. May I have my equipment back? I, I I I don't have it. Okay, then where is it? You took it. Uh, no, Maud and Whimsy took it. Well, I have what I have. My shirt. Did you put that shirt on yet? No. <laughs> you might want to do that. <laughs> Well, the ensemble wouldn't be complete if you should. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> I'm gonna time. ask. Her, I'll ask her where Maud is. We've already spoken. Got got with Wednesday. We we need Maud. Uh, Maud was either over on. I want to say the stage uh, with the eldest Von Trap boy, or maybe the mage guy. 
up on the stage in the shop. In the hey, shop. We, we can split it up right. if you want. No, we'll stay together. Okay. <laughs> That'd be a better idea to stay together. Yes. Well, I <laughs> so we'll we'll head back the other you, so we'll head I'm back the other way until Manfang where we're going. Yeah. Go to the stage. Uh, okay, Manfang, uh, you've gotten your order. Uh, they're only charging you fifteen at the bar. Nah, that's a better thing. I went to the bar. So you said. So yeah, let your waitress take it over, man. Thing you don't have to deliver it to them. She, she's busy. It's all right. Another one will get it. Yeah. Uh, I'll just tell them. Can I, I'll just tell them to give it to that table, the one with the half. half. What are they called again? Halflings. Halflings. Yeah, I almost called them half people. I'm busy, hon. I, you know, I got a lot of tables. Go ahead and take it over to yourself. Flips you a gold piece. Oh, all right. <laughs> he's, oh, he's, he's so right. cheap and easy. You walk all over. Right. Uh, give me a d20 roll. One or a two would be bad again. Oh, my God. I got a 15. Is it, do I add anything with that? Or? No. You, you, you put the tray of drinks down. Okay. So what I want is a mutton about that big, and I want the taters. So I need you to bring me that. Um, the, sec anus the second the guy says, I would also like the button, but I do not want the spuds. Bring me some kind of, uh, what do you call it, veg table. Bring me that. I want that. I want the button and the veg table. Uh, the third guy asks you what the special is. Oh, I will say, I am not a waiter. I could get some. You are our waiter. You brought us the drinks. What is the special today? I like a good special slam. It's it's the mystery meat over there. I could go grab it. Okay, I, I will take the mystery meat, but give me two helpings. I want the mystery meat. You want the uh, mystery? I, another one is looking at a piece of paper. Tell them there's some females in the other alcove that would like to meet them. I am busy. Uh, come back to me. Come back to me. Come back to me. We'll come back to you. The next guy asks, uh, what kind of, do you have chicken? I like the chicken. I think we have chicken. I I'm saw some sure. chicken in the, the stable. It was huge. Bring me one of those chickens. We do not kill those chickens. They are, they are uh, people's chickens. We do not own them. Who does, who do, who carries, who carries, who carries, why do you carry chicken if you don't eat them? Tell me, why don't know why they carry the chicken? That's why, that's what I was wondering. But we this, can't. Guy, this guy is stupid. That is what it is. I think he has suffered a head wound. Hey, uh, he's got the scar. See the scar? Yeah, 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 yeah. Bring me the mutton too. Bring me spuds and the vegetables. I want that. No, 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 no. No, yeah, I will take that. We I'll only have it. eight more days on this key. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. The last guy says he uh, just walk away. I just want walk bread, away. bread and wine. Bring me bread and wine. That's it. I Anybody that. else want anything else? Okay, go fetch now. Go okay. hurry. All right. I guess I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> well, I guess I'm doing it. I mean, he's I got a job, work. man. <laughs> uh, hug. Well, he gave me a job. I guess I'm doing this now. <laughs> Jamie, at the end, I'm not giving it to the waiter. Come on, man, Fang, we're leaving. I've got four more tables. I got to get to <laughs> four more tables. I need to wait. Uh, Copious, Agus, and we'll leave. You guys tell him just whatever, get it. Do you want to head to the uh, stage with the Von Traps or the Magic Place? I'm heading over to the, uh, the stage with the Von Traps first. Uh, give me a memory check, uh, wisdom roll. Wisdom? I'll do that one. Yep. Well, I got a 17. Yeah, I, I got a 25. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> One of the Von Traps is missing. Was it the boy? The boy is missing. Yeah, you think Where's the boy? boy? Where's your other boy? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why is that guy naked? We don't... <laughs> <laughs> He's not technically naked. He has. He's naked. not naked. He's I have naked. an apron. It's. I his, think you've got one boy over your limit hey, here, hey. pal. It's part of his religion, and we do not question <laughs> others' religions. We are open to all forms of religion. This that one just is seems correct. a little weird. Thank now, you. 
He's a mason. Where, That's where is your son? <laughs> We're looking for Maud, the waitress. Her sister said she's with your son. She had better not be. She, she is. is a harlot. <laughs> yes, she is. And she's yeah. got your son somewhere. Do you know where they went? The mother charges behind the big thick curtain on the stage and a shriek is heard. There is screaming and yelling along with mom, mom, no, no, no. And a <laughs> half naked girl runs out. August. We chaff. We, we, we. <laughs> If a halfling is half naked, is that a quarter? I'm just glad it was your son that asked that question. What would you like to know, Haggis? I think you should all know. I think we should all know. He's after the half of a half naked she, halfling. Is she with what she has on? Does any of it belong to Haggis? It's August, a good question. Give me a memory check. Wisdom. You want to take this? Oh. 15. That's not Maud. <laughs> okay. Um, maybe we should go to the wizard shop. Uh, well, let's look behind the curtain and see if any of your stuff's back here. Oh, like if Maud and her were at the same time. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's a good call. Uh, no, Mama Von Trapp is beating the crap out of her son. Okay, let's head to the magic, magic shop. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't want to be close when she gets done. Uh, the magic shop door is locked. Well, knock on the door. Who is it? Uh, says a piping voice of a male. Let's keep okay. up over I stuff. think this is the one. Okay. Oh, it's, 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 it's oh, this is Leaf. Come be small matters. Magic delivery. Unfamiliar with copious small bitters. Please come back later. I am uh, with, a, with a customer. Uh, I do know it. Copious will use uh, his thief stools to open the front door if he can. You catch them in flagranto, uh, Maud and an elderly wizard uh, currently <laughs> engaging <laughs> in activities. Uh, a shriek is heard. <laughs> On the table to the left is most of Haggis's stuff. Grab it. Yeah, we go straight for the stuff. Okay. Uh, it looks like most of your what? here is... Wait a minute. Your stuff or somebody else's stuff? Is there a I mean, six-foot you... longbow? Sitting on that good question. Now, what I... is missing? <laughs> <laughs> good, okay. Good so, call. I have so oh, everything yes. except the longbow. Long is that bow. what you're saying? Correct. The $500 okay. longbow. Okay. I think okay. it was only 50 wasn't it? I, I cheated the guy Shit. with some fake emeralds. It was... But so he's not overly concerned. She asked. <laughs> ask. Where's but that's the what. I, yeah. Um. So I had a, a a pretty big bow, like the size of my entire body. She you know turns to the mage and says, "What? Not a big bow. Not. Not a big. Not bow. a big bow. <laughs> it wasn't that big of a bow. <laughs> Lift your apron, Haggis. You want to try? Your again? <laughs> Where's uh, uh? He's missing a long bow. Long He's missing a longbow. Uh, I are they both like still? I'm gonna need a minute to compose myself. If you hooligans can step out of the shop for a moment, no, 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 no. you go ahead no, no, and tell no. us where the longbow is, and then you can get back to whatever the hell that was you were doing when we came in. He stands and puts both hands on his naked hips and says, "I don't like your tone." I think Smidge would be happy to find out what his daughter's doing. Hold that thought one moment. Yeah, go get that it. longbow. That longbow. <laughs> I'm going to go find Smidge. You guys I, oh, figure now. Hang out. on. Let us not be hasty. I, August, I think. Get, August, get your stuff on. Uh, uh, Maud, uh, he says, uh, young lady, I, I think you should turn over the rightful property to uh, this man. Uh, I don't have it. Where is it? Uh, there is a gentleman wearing armor, and uh, he offered me Son a very good deal. I knew you were going to do that. I got okay. three gold pieces out of that deal. <laughs> <laughs> where, where, 
where did the armored guy go? Uh, whew, that was a couple of uh, encounters ago. Uh, no. I think he was going upstairs to visit the employees in the corner. Okay. Well. So, hey, listen, uh, Maud, get your stuff on because you're walking upstairs with us to point him out. I thought you were going to let us finish. You can after we get after we get done with you upstairs. Yeah. I don't think that's going to happen. And shouldn't you be working out that room upstairs anyway? I'm working hard. <laughs> we can tell. But mod, I can change. And Felix, you have a message, <laughs> by the way. Um, okay. Uh, she starts to make uh, really creepy eye contact with. Uh, there's four of you. One, Leaf. She begins to dress herself while looking at you, just dead in the eyes. <laughs> I'll look the other way. Staring, can, I mean, we get to watch. I, I mean, it's nothing copious. against us seeing. It's uh, her problem for being she naked turns in the first to, place. She turns to Copious and starts to uh, do the same thing. Yeah, I, Copious isn't look away. This Copious is now pissed because he paid money to have a really <laughs> comfortable night's sleep in an honest out bed for the first time in it. like two months. And now he's screwing around trying to chase down a longbow. They got sold for three gold that was like a $500 go Oh, he's pissed. There's nothing she can do that's going to change this part at all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, she continues to get dressed, uh, noting that there are, she's not going to dissuade you. And uh, she continues to get dressed. Is it, are you happy? Does it make any happy? Not yet. And I'm going to look at the mage and say, don't go anywhere. I can I get dressed? No. no. <laughs> you stand there. You know, yeah, no. look at your shape. How are you better than me? I mean, let's really think about it. how's the old <laughs> mage better than me? They call it quality. <laughs> uh, quality. Is I can say this gone, very personal. Not the time. Not the time. So you guys get a hold of Maud, now fully clothed. Yep. You walk out of the magic shop and you hear Robert of Zeppelin laughing heartily with this new friend of his. It's a guy in a suit of armor. Hey. As he walk, as you, as you guys walk out, the guy in the Is armor goes, a bow? Nope, no bow. He goes, and that's when the priest told the duck to get the duck out of here. And Robert finds the joke absolutely hilarious. They laugh, and Maud goes, there he is, and starts to head back into the magic shop. What? Grabs her arm. And yeah. Walks, uh, Maud marches her over to the table with Robert and the, the warrior soldier. And and Copius is going to ask the soldier, said, hey, do you know this young woman? Are you her father? <laughs> Not the question. Did you purchase something from this woman? He, he, he leans over the table at, at Robert as two more drinks show up and go, you meet the strangest people in this place, don't you? Look, uh, they're short round. Are, are you her father? Because that's the question. The question is, did you buy something from this woman? Maybe rented. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, hey. I'm going to look him on and go, even I feel bad for you now. Hey, you hurt me a few minutes ago. Robert, I got another one for you. Are you ready for this one? Three four cast fade presence and ask him the question again. 15 on the saving throw. Uh, nope, you have him shocked. Oh, there. Don't get, a, don't get your panties in an uproar. <laughs> Told you we don't uh, wear uh, panties. Speaking of, yeah, August, we don't wear anything <laughs> underneath there. <laughs> did, did you get dressed yet? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Did, you, did I? It, he put his boots on and his jerk, and <laughs> he still has no pants on. He's like puss and boots. He's got a cloak with boots on. So, Copious, you have his attention. Uh, Robert, you have no idea what's going on, but it looks pretty messy. You have Leaf, 
Hagas, Manfang, and Copius, along with the most beautiful barmaid, uh, a mage uh, standing buck naked in the doorway behind him, and Felix is nowhere to be found. Also nowhere to be found, waiting tables. Oh, that's right. Manfang is waiting right. table. I forgot about that. He got a new job. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> I got a new job. I'm done with adventuring. Hey. Waiting <clears throat> Make sure you track your tips. Yep. Oh, no, Mike? They paid me for the for the food. Overcharged them. Might be nice. Uh, Robert of Zeppelin doesn't have a mic, so he'll be transferring stuff into chat for us. So, uh, Manfang, uh, you start to uh, kibitz with some of the other waiters and waitresses, and you just are not happy about this job that you've taken. Uh, the hours seem to be excessively long, and your hands are starting to get chaffed by holding hot crockery. Uh, the others agree with you. This is bullshit. We need to unionize is what we need to do. Um. There you go. Start a strike before we get thrown the hell out of here. All right. Um, I, I can we unionize later. My shift is almost done. <laughs> ah, dang. Fair, fair enough. Uh, Robert we... Copius, Haggis, and Leaf, uh, as well as Maud, uh, the armored fighter. Okay, you're creeping me out, dude. What do you want? Oh. She sell you something. Uh, bow? Long bow. It wasn't that long, Haggis. She already <laughs> told us that. <laughs> she was meant I, to be the one. Look, look, pal. Do I look like I have a bow on me? I don't know what you're talking about. She I don't claimed know what she did sell you. Yeah. He says he didn't sell it to her. Where's the bow? Where's the money? I traded it. To who? To who? Uh... <laughs> You'd really catch her name, but she's upstairs. <laughs> what, what did she right. look like? Like, let's face. take her upstairs. Didn't really get a good look. Is she big? Does she Is look she like half this orc? guy at the table? Is she actually half orc? Uh, no, Robert. she's not half orc. She was more uh, uh, Amazonian, uh, kind of a big human. Oh, very, 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 very big bone. I like the big bone, big bone. and I cannot lie. Bow for snooze, dude. Okay, I think we're heading Was upstairs. She named Helga. Remember the room? I didn't catch her name. Do you remember uh, the room? All right, show us. Upstairs. Uh, no, I'm drinking with my new friend Robert Zeppelin. So. Go away. Oh, wait a minute. I thought this was Maude talking. Is this the warrior talking? It's the warrior talking. Uh, oh, Maude's right. like, can I go back? No. Well, we know that she, the bow is upstairs now. Let's go to whatever room he said it was. Let's find, go find a bow. Was, yeah. Was he go. pointing to the sex workers area of the building or another area? Sex workers. Sex All right. Workers. Just check. I want to make sure. All right. Let Maude go. Why? Why? Why are we letting? Uh, Oops, Maud, Maud's out of the We're equation. done with Maud. We're done yeah. with her. Yeah. Maud can go back with her old. I know you're Maud. not done with her, Haggis, but you know what happened last time? She, she might have time for you later, Haggis. I need I, to have 50 gold. You might have time to steal more of your stuff, but you never know. If we see if we see Smidge, I'm gonna I'm I'm definitely telling on that old that old wizard. Sure. Uh you guys going upstairs to the sex workers? Yep. Yeah. Are you jealous, Haggis? Up top, Leaf and uh, Copious, you've seen these guys. They're they're very into their job. They're hardworking individuals. There's there's no shame in being a sex worker. These guys are just doing a job that uh, there is a call for. I've noticed you said guys twice. There are there are males and females <laughs> okay. up here, uh, depending on your tastes. Since I know Haggis, Felix, so <laughs> right. since Haggis mentioned it, everybody roll perception at disadvantage. Except Haggis. I don't have to because I'm still waiting. What did I mention? Uh, that's right. You're you're still waiting. I'm still tables. on shift. I'm still on shift. Yeah. <laughs> Later. We are going to unionize. Nineteen. Haggis. Uh, you said except Haggis. Yeah. Normal normal perception for you. Oh. Everybody else is a disadvantage. Seventeen. 
Uh, yeah, you see Smidge upstairs. He's going room to room. He's on the back side. Was he batting clean up? What the hell's going on? Okay, I put uh, on he's my. He's muttering I... to himself. He's not sure. He's in uh, this area. I put on my clothes a little bit. Okay, yeah. and they're in J, aren't they? Who? What do you mean by you put on your clothes? Sex workers. Uh, sex, workers. sex workers are in J. Yeah, you guys come up the stairs. Uh, as you reach the second story, uh, you and Haga's kind of sideways glance. Haga sees Smidge. He's coming out of this room right here. And they're kind of like, damn, blah, 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 blah. Uh, the sex workers are right here. They're like, hey, what's your pleasure? Uh, none. Well, let's see if we, are there any females uh, asking that question? Maybe fitting the type that that man described. Big boned. There are six sex workers here, and yes, one of them is a big boned woman. Uh, she has uh, tattooing across her face. Hmm. Okay. Um, I go up to the lady and say, um, I am uh, looking, Have has a man in armor sell you anything? Like a bow, perhaps? I don't know, but I'll charge you half. <laughs> Does your dad know you're up here, son? Seriously. Yeah, I know he's up here. Go ahead. You just let him. Wow, you're a horrible parent. Thank you. <laughs> what do you want? I am looking for a longbow. Uh, that would be Jimmy. <laughs> looking for it. Not, not a sex joke. I, I'm talking <laughs> a literal longbow. <laughs> oh! Yeah, I've seen one of them before. I have recently. Is there? Do you have one? <sighs> do I have one? Boy, that is a hard question. I mean, I have a quite that's a lot. That's a call of for a coin right there. That's Agus. just one coin. Much, I just remember that's just one coin. You know, thinking about that, how much you sold for? Maybe I um, times it by the dose. Hmm. Well, I'm not saying I've got one. I'm not saying I got two of them. I am saying if you'd like to take a look, looks aren't free. As How much is a... you, uh, <laughs> no, uh, it's gonna cost you ten gold pieces for the bow to come in and look at it. To which room? Uh, my room. Which room is that? The one I rent. But you, but you are saying that you don't have the bow on you currently, right? <laughs> the robe flies open, and clearly, she is not secreting any weapons. She's you might have it hidden somewhere, Haggis. Pat it down. <laughs> yeah, the long bow. Pat her down. It's in the prison wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, hmm. you want to you want to come see the two long bows that I have? Sure. Maybe ten gold pieces. We'll go. I have, a, I have a. I have a. I have. I don't have any more gems. Okay, all right, fine. I have ten gold pieces, but I am giving it to you when I see the bow. I have it in my hand, right here. But you're like giving to it to me now, and we'll go in and see the bow. Za, bow, za. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. The... First, Pops, is it okay if he goes in? My father has to accompany me if we do oh, see Well, him. maybe I better check the room first. Which door was it? It's 10 gold pieces to come into my room. I don't care who does it, but it's 10 gold pieces. Okay, so we're all coming in to... Oh Every, God, everybody, everybody, everybody pays me ten gold. Then, oh hell no, I ain't going. That. Can I? Father, you cut out. Father, ten gold. Uh, if you want to pay for leaf to go in, that's fine. Right. Give me you ten gold. Let's do this thing. All right, All right. All right. let's I see the bows. Leaf, she says, I got my ten gold. Okay, what do you want? All right. I go in a room and look at the bows. There is a lot of stuff in this room. Uh... <laughs> oh, that's a good one. No. <laughs> um, 
There's a lot of stuff in this room. Uh, it looks like a pawn shop almost, but there are two longbows sitting in the corner. I'm going to cast Detect Magic. There's a lot of magic in this room, hmm. including one of the bows. Am I in there too, or is it just Leaf? No, nope, one just of the, Leaf. One of the bows. What else is going on in there? Uh, there's a potion bottle. There's nah. a box, uh, and there's some jewelry glowing. Okay, I'll pass. She's that. like, "Which longbow is your son's?" Well, I, let me. I'll, I'll, I'll actually go over and pick up the non-glowing one first. And, give it a little try, and then I'll pick up the other one. I said, I think this one is it. Fine. Uh, he wants to match or exceed the offer that it cost me? Well, what did it cost you? Uh, it cost me 25 gold. We'll match it. You've already got 10. We'll give you another 25. That'll give you a 10, 10 gold profit. Persuade me? Uh, let's persuade you. Oh, boy. At 19. Done. Now grab it and go. I'm busy. All right. I'll give him the 25 gold. Okay. And you, take you, the got, bow. you got your bow back. Oh, no. I got a new bow. Oh, okay. Thank you. Uh, outside the room. Hold on. Is... I just, I got to break character for a second. <laughs> is this the same bow that Crabstain bought in the last episode and paid a shitload of money for and we're buying it back a second time? Yes, uh, he, okay. he gave away okay. shitty gems, though. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I just. Yeah. <laughs> yes, okay. I'm double dipping. We're, uh, we're buying I'm gonna, it again. I'm gonna tell Copious when I come out. <laughs> I got his message, but I have no idea where Felix is. I haven't seen him since we got here. He went went off with somebody, and that was the end of it. But well, he, we, is he not in this this sex worker area? Because that's where he should be. They haven't got. As, as Leaf is inside working on it, Haggis and Copious, uh, you hear, Tarnation, what the hell is this? And as you look over, uh, you see an open door at a room. And uh, Smidge is standing in the room. He's like, somebody bring me an axe. Right. I'm looking. We're right here. Uh, hey, gotta... Smidge, remember me? I got an axe. Oh, I see. Oh, close. Yeah, Leaf, you're still inside looking. Oh, magic okay. Shit. Joe Pierce is looking. Man Fang has an axe. Talking about. I have an axe. He's I can run up. Man, wait, wait, Man wait. Fang is Joey Tribbiani. He's waiting on tables. Right? <laughs> oh, right, sorry, right. I forgot. I forgot. Yeah, wedding tables. Your I'm shift is almost it. over. You know what, Man Fang? Uh, give me a straight up D20. Let's see if you got the halfling's order right. Uh, that is a seventeen. D12, D12 against me. Come on. That's a nine. I got a four. Uh, you get a tip of 21 gold pieces. Damn, boy. With that kind I know. Of tip, you I, can buy a bow. I know. I could, <laughs> buy a bow. I could buy a bow with all that. So upstairs, Copious and Haggis, uh, Smidgey is pissed about something. What you want to do? No, and I can hear you. It's and this isn't like where our rooms are, right? It's the opposite end of the hall. So on the other side uh, of the open area. Right, yeah. I'm just I'm gonna try to drift a little bit that way so I can figure out what he's yelling out, just to make sure it's not Robert or Felix in trouble with something. Now, uh, as you get over there, you notice that there is a rope dangling out of the window attached to the bed frame. Oh, someone escaped. All right, so <laughs> Copius is just sure it's Robert. Robert is doing something almost assuredly. Is that room on the same side of the building as Copius's bedroom? No. So it's on the, the same side as the sex workers' rooms, right? You know, Copius, no. we left Robert sitting downstairs at a table. So your rooms are M. Yeah. Sex, sex workers are J. Oh, okay. And they're down here. It's right here in this K room. Felix, does that room look at all familiar? <laughs> I, I'm going to let the dice decide this one for me, myself here. Mm -hmm. All right. So Copius is curious. He wants to know what's going on so that, honest to God, he can just go enjoy his room. And if this is one more chaotic thing in Smidge's Roadhouse, Copius is liable to lose his cool. 
Okay. So I'm going to drift over towards that side where that room is um, and, and see what, if I can't get in close enough. I'm going to ask Schmidge, what the hell is going on? There's a rope attached to this bed. And there's something dangling out on it. I'm going to, Copius is going to step up and look at He's going to ask Schmidge, did you look to see what it is? No. Is it, is it a skinny ass mage that was sleeping with your daughter? What? <laughs> <laughs> So Smidge, with, with Smidge, those we words, Copius is going to look out the window. Smidgey is going to start arguing and grabs you by the shoulder before you can get to the window. What the hell do you mean, sleeping with my daughter? Oh, sorry, they weren't sleeping. And then he's going to go back towards the window. Smidge, Smidge, Smidge we, have some, we have some good news and bad news. The, the good news, congratulations. I, I mean, you lucky father you must be. But um, your <laughs> daughter, Maude, is... Sleeping with the mage that works downstairs. There's the important point for free. For free. And he's old. He's he's really to. old. He's no young halfling that's good in dexterity <laughs> or could offer your daughter a lifetime of well, happiness short, forever. With a short bow. <laughs> but uh, your, Got a little short your daughter bow. ran off with a mage downstairs. Uh, no young halfling. No like young that. halfling. So Copius is you let Smidgey go to the door, Haggis blocks him and proceeds to mentally torture him, giving him psychic damage. You look out the window and with your dark vision, you can see a large half-orc female on a horse with another horse in tow with what appears to be a body over the saddle and they are headed west down the road. Uh, are they horses a, or are they zonkeys? Horses. As a side note, Felix, you are starting to come to and you are being jostled about a lot. Uh, then I'm going to make as much noise as I can and be like, where the, what the hell's going on? Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Copius, you were on the second floor. Uh, looking out, uh, that crazy ale wench uh, competitor uh, apparently hijacked the body. Shooter, shoot the body as well. Um, how far away? Is she? Yeah, uh, she she's already down the road, maybe three four hundred yards, <clears throat> galloping yeah. off in the in the moonlight. The waning moonlight, because you've already had full moon. Three or four hundred yards. Man, 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 man. Um, Up and over a hill she goes. And I don't have any sense. Copius isn't going to think that that could be Felix, right? There's no not, way he would. Not a clue. However, you are in the room. Hagas is in the doorway. Give me investigation checks at disadvantage. Uh, Nine. Felix is going to keep struggling against those bonds. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh, you find a crumpled up piece of parchment. Oh, boy. Well, Tobias, he's going to look at it. It's a wanted poster, and it's got an X over Felix's face. Okay, so... Uh, Looks like Robert got him a, z a zonkey after all. Looks like you guys are each worth 200 gold. That's it? That's all? Hey, wait, 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 let's think about... Hey, Copius is right here! Copius is right here! <laughs> let's talk about... Dead or alive, you're, alive. you're coming with me. <laughs> we should just start waving and go, hey, you're gold, I would have paid her to stay! Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Crapstein's pissing away that kind of money on bows that he can't even use. So much for sleeping tonight. <laughs> so... Yeah. Man Fang is getting off his waiter shift. Robert is still laughing it up with the warrior. Uh, what warrior? Uh, you have a new friend. His name is Brighton. Oh, really? Yep. He traded a longbow for services rendered. Now, this isn't the one that was attracted to Haggis naked butt, was it? It is not. It is okay, not the paladin. Nope, somebody else. 
Uh, Robert, this guy tells you jokes, he makes you laugh, and he's been buying you drinks. Hey, we got a new member to replace Felix. Sounds like he might be more attractive to Robert. <laughs> he's he's going he's, he's he's to need yeah. a zonkey, though. <laughs> yeah, because there's no chickens. So, uh, copious? Uh, huh. Huh. Well, hell. Hey, so, at least you paid for the rooms in advance. <laughs> How much money have I got, gotten off you guys today? Let me ask you this. How much will it cost to rebuild this freaking place? <laughs> I don't know. Do. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, do you want to dick around trying to burn this huge roadhouse, or you want to go see your friend? Do what? Do what? Uh, Lee, if you come out, uh, hold yeah. the bow and go. I got it. And your friends are not there, but across the way, Smidgey is being insulted by Haggis. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, shit. I'll start heading around that way. Okay, Man Fang, uh, as you finish your shift, you look up and you hear Smidgey yelling up over the side, uh, and you can hear the annoying voice of Haggis peppering him with, well, congratulations, at least you get a card on Grandfather's Day. <laughs> Robert, you, you will also hear this. I'm going to wrap and go, boss, what's going on? Because apparently, I'm having that good of a time, I'm ignoring it. Fair enough. That's what Copious did earlier. I'm going to run up and ask Smidge what's going on because apparently I work for him now. So I'm just going to ask him what's happening. Uh, did you get an apron at least? Uh, no, I really should ask him. Because Haggis has one. <laughs> I, know. I mean, I'm but work. It says Smidgey's. <laughs> uh, you run up there, you see uh, Leaf with a brand new bow. It apparently Ooh. is. Haggis just torturing the shit out of the owner of this establishment. Copious is nowhere to be found. Still no Felix. And uh, Robert, you saw during your uh, table servicing uh, that he's just yucking it up with the other guy. Okay. I'm going to ask Leaf what's going on. Well, I just bought this beautiful bow from the wow. whore in the corner. Ah, cool. Uh, other than that, why is there a rope going on? I, I have no idea what's going on. I, I'm just heading over here to find out. So, All right, I'll ask Copious what's going on then. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, Haggis, you, don't, you don't know where Copious is. Well, I'm going up to Haggis, who's standing in the door. Haggis, here's your bow, 25 gold, and you can have it back. That's what it cost me to get it. Hey, that's only 25 gold. I'll take that. I can't I'll hear you. That, oh, I can't. You can't hear me? No, no I, probably, I can't probably, hear Haggis. Probably best you can't hear him for that. Comment. Probably is. <laughs> Can I interest you in some fine gems? No. <laughs> 25, 25 gold piece, piece of shyster. I ain't playing that shit. And you can have your bow back. Otherwise, I'll just keep it. I don't care. I'll give you 25 no, gold. 25 oh, gold. Sure, sure bow. So, all right. Hey, I'll take the 25 gold hey, Haggis, and give this Haggis. bow back to him. He can do what he wants with it. Hey, Haggis, like, cool. how much money do you have left? I'll what you, are, uh, you detected magic. What does this bow uh, do? It's magic. Oh wait, yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. I do know what it does. Never mind. And what it, was it? A plus two or something? It it it, it fires more it's arrows. Rapid. It's a quick bow. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna go on in the room where uh Hoggis or uh, Copius is in there cussing. It's a I'm quick shot bow for people of normal height, but for him, <laughs> it's just a one shot. Similar I'm thinking he could probably workers. shoot his self I could, with this bow. Across I could, the river, I could you know? do it like you know, sideways or something, real. Oh, gangster style. Yeah, <laughs> with the bow. I'm going and ask copious. You know, why so glum, my friend? <laughs> I'm gonna. I'm not even going to look back. I'm going to hold out the wanted poster, and then I'm going to point out that window at the, and, and I'm going to say over the horizon. I can see in the dark too, and I'm just going to go shit. Is that so, is I, that Felix? Do we think that's Felix? Still wordless, just anger dripping from his mouth, foaming at the mouth over this turn of events. He's going to start stomping out, saying, "Get your, go get the zonkeys. We're heading out." All right. And he's screaming at Haggis at the same time. Felix. <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, they all, they, 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 how's they, they, Smidge? What's uh? What, how's Smidge doing? Smidge is think. pissed. He's yelling I for think. his girls. Okay. I well, I think this is a good time for us to leave. We could yep. maybe. Thank. You, do we could take the the blankets uh, from the high priced rooms if you want. The, the, the robes, yeah, sure. Robes oh, and no. dolls. High, That's free, right? Copius is going down to his room because he's grabbing his pillow and he's grabbing the chamber pot and he's going to the stables. Okay. I'm thinking <laughs> that I could probably turn into something and catch him. Why don't you turn into like some sort of raptor and just follow him and we'll bring your... I can't do raptors place. yet. I can't do raptors yet. I already looked. Is there like but a chandelier in this place? I thought that would be kind of fun. Yeah, it's There's a chan- chandelier. Okay. You can't do it flying? Well, I, I was just wondering. No, like, I maybe I could shoot it with my bow. No, I can't to... fly. I can't fly. Um, what about the fast land animal or like a wolf that could track and just keep on them? What about a whale? Could you be a whale? Yeah, if you're a whale, you'd just be big, oh, so you would sorry. already be there. Yeah. <laughs> nah, just looking for something. <laughs> you then, then you get bigger and, and then you get small and then you go over I'm, there. I'm pretty, <laughs> much, I'm pretty much ignoring the. Uh... <laughs> The help from Haggis <laughs> and Anything? Yeah. Uh, you're uh, a blue whale. You're falling in the sky. <laughs> tick, tick, I'm, 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 you'd already be there. farther away. <laughs> I'm down in the stables. <laughs> like an hour Saddling the donkey. I told Robert as I went through the common area. Hell's up. What did he tell me? Felix right. has been hit by a bounty hunter. We're all got not m- money on our head. Yeah, 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 Robert. To get Robert's attention, I want to shoot the chandelier with my new bow. I'll, I'll, I'll climb down the rope and turn into a war horse and start chasing them. I'll tell Copius to bring my zonk and get my gear out of the room, and I'm gonna go after and try to slow him down. Wait, did you tell him before or after you changed changed into a? No, I'm telling him before I climb down the rope. I ain't gonna turn into, into a, a horse. horse in the room, man. Fang, and then try yeah, to yeah, and then I can jump out the window. We yeah. break a leg. So cool. you're, you're you're gonna shimmy down the rope. Yeah. Hit the ground and turn yeah. into a war horse. Yeah. Well, Smidgey has asked for an axe. So D12 against me to see if you get down before the axe. Yeah, gets son you. of a bitch. Oh, that's an eleven. Or just as you hit the ground. <laughs> All right, I'll turn into where his speed is 60 feet. Sure. So I'll turn and start chasing. <laughs> well, do you want someone to be on your back? So, like, you have some uh, uh, pal, you know? What? Oh, added that's... weight? No. Well, I'm a halfling. I'm no, like, actually, I can less weight. No, I can do that with somebody on my back. Yeah. Do, do, I, 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 yeah I, I, that's an idea of how you're going to get down. I was going to ride you and stay on. That's a check. Yeah. He's exactly a great animal rider. Um, yeah, Lee, Lee, of are, are you going Are you going to wait for him, or are you just going to take off? Well, I mean, if if this was the plan, I don't. Yeah. Go. Yeah, I, I go. my way outside. Go. I, 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 Leaf, where are you? Just, just go. go. Don't wait. Just go. go. I'm. I'm just going to go. Okay. I'll just go. And now I want. I, I imagine if we were. If this is the first. Panning back and forth, so going, yeah, right, got it. And then us arguing. I'm chasing. <laughs> exactly. The oh, no. oh, yeah. Thanks. Leaf. Thanks, Alex. Hey. Leaf, as, as you get to the deck, it's your ass if I don't catch her. So just so you know, uh, as you get to the deck, the rope well falls down. Boom! <laughs> you start to take off. There is not even any dust getting kicked up by this time. Because several minutes have passed, and uh, Dalton and whoever she has yeah. is in the wind. Uh, Copious, you're upstairs. Uh, you try and stop Smidgey from using the axe. You can't. Whack! Uh, you don't hear any screaming or bitching, so you assume that Leaf has made it to the ground. moment later, clop, 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 clop. Okay, he's down. You're there. Haggis is there. Manfang has arrived, and you can hear Robert of Zeppelin downstairs laughing at another great joke. Uh, I'm going to tell Manfang and Haggis to go get Robert and get him out to the stables. I'm going to go to the stables and tell every whoever is there in the stable boys, saddle up all of our mounts so we can get moving. Um, 
and then uh, trying to get out out the door. Here. It's awful late. I'm gonna have to wake him. That's gonna cost. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try. And We're gonna come back, back here. And guys see how me and me and Manfang are making our way towards. Yes, um, as this happens. Actually, Manfang is going. Was told to go get Robert. Was he not? Yeah, I'm going yeah, with him. That's what Robert. Copius okay. told me to do. Okay, so Copius. You shoot out the front door, ah! go out to the stables, you start, come on, chop, 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 chop. Uh, Man Fang and Haggis, you reach the table as Robert and his new friend are yet down in another one, and his new friend is starting another joke. Do you want to interrupt him? I will interrupt him, but politely interrupt him. Oh. Uh, Robert, you, you have a feeling that this is going to be a really good joke. <sighs> Hey, uh, Robert, we have some over Hey, Robert. Hey, 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 hold, 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 hold on, guys. Hold on, guys. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let him tell his joke. Okay. So, this guy, this halfling, he goes in up to the sex worker. Oh, wait, this and, is going to be and, good. And, and, and he says, hey, hey, I, you know, I've never done this. I want to try this. And the lady says, no, if you've never done it, you need to practice first. I don't know what you mean by practice. Okay. The sex worker says, you go out into the trees, okay? You find a tree, and you find a tree with a knot hole, okay? And, you know, you, you, you do the practice. I've heard you know, this you, joke. You do that. And and then then you come back tomorrow, and, you know, I'll, I'll go ahead and take care of it. So this athlete, he goes out into the copse of trees. He finds this tree down low enough with a knot hole. And he, you know, he does his thing. He practices. He, you know, he's doing it. So the next day, he shows up. Tells a sex worker, hey, I practiced. I'm ready to do this. She goes, are you sure you practiced? Oh, I'm sure I practiced. I, I did this. I know what I'm doing now. I got this. Okay. So she lets him into the room. He grabs a hold of her, throws her on the bed, starts smacking her right in the ass. She jumps up. What the hell are you doing? I'm trying to get the bees out first. I'm checking for bees. See, I told you that was a good one. Yeah. Okay, every okay, every you, half like Thanksgiving. That one's now, now you, you tell me one. <laughs> grabbing Robert to pull him away from the table. Whoa, 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 whoa. Mm -hmm. Robert, we have to go. We have, Why? To, go. We have to go. We have to go. We have to go. Okay, you got, you got something here. Yeah, you come back. Yeah, we'll tell more jokes. You're a good guy. I like you. What? What's? Why do we have to get Felix? He's kidnapped. Come, bounty. Come, come, come. Lady. Lady. Kidnapped lady bounty. Head. Did, did, lady. Did, 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 did you say I bounty? Sounds like another one of his sex hey, I heard bounty. What's the bounty for? It's because we kill people. All right. Felix. Um, we kill lots of people. And We're not me too. In our whole party. party. We need to move so we can save. Is the bounty <laughs> on you guys? Are you guys like wanted? Yes, we no. are one. No. Yes, no. 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 <laughs> we are no. one. Hey, hey. Oh, hey, oh, hey. That's cool. I like that. That's, 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 that's cool. Yeah. Yeah. We have two hundred dollar bounty. I knew I liked you. <laughs> you bad boy. You are a bad boy. Medusa and you jackass bad boys. I love you guys. I have no yeah. idea what the hell man thing was rambling on about for five minutes. No, you uh, don't, because you, you've been talking to Brighton, your new buddy. Dalton took Felix, is basically what I'm trying to say. The lady that you the lady were sitting on, the I crap stained you with, she <laughs> kidnapped Felix. She you was bad. I her. saved your life. Yes, yeah, she was bad. She chose that thing over me. Of course yeah, she exactly. was bad. <laughs> yes, she but did. She's stealing him. We need to go get him back. So Just you're... remember that. 200 gold for every party member, and she chose this guy. Uh huh. Yeah, yeah. Start with the easy one. <laughs> you, you, you know what? I, I think I think like the brain Felix is right. just you know sealing his fate right there. Uh, copious in the stables. It's like the Blues Brothers going up in the elevator. Dun, dun, dun. Oh my God! How long is this going to take? I'm going to shake my coin purse. And go. <laughs> hey, Felix. That's what got you in trouble, isn't it? Taking you. <laughs> You want to tip? Him. Move it. I just got to bed. Oh, you would not believe how comfortable these beds are here. You would not believe it. They are just amazing. 
They are very comfortable. <laughs> Uh, Robert, you're going to go with the uh, two yapping idiots. I'm going to go get my stuff out of my room as soon as I figure out which one it is. Hey, 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 take one. Take one. Take hey, you're one. right. I better. Road I better. better. Rodale. Got to take the Rodale. 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 Uh, so Robert saunters up to his room to go get his stuff. Uh, I don't even know which one it is. I'm just going to start checking doors until I find mine. Sure. Haggis and Manfang, uh, you've told Robert, uh, you've delivered the message. Uh, well, that's our job. Go so we have to go to, now. yeah, go get our zonkeys now. So you go out and copious. Oh, ding, ding, ding. Hey, copious, we've been doing all this time. You see the three stable boys, you know, uh, I, I cannot tell you how good that feather pillow is. It's it's amazing. I mean, I'm barely awake. I really am. You think I could just sneak on by through the stables, you know, past it? It's only so big, right? There's only so much of well, yeah, stable. You, you got your three uh, giant chickens and all your zonkeys there. Well, we, we now have a free zonkey because Felix isn't here, which Manfang or Robert could take. I so we can put one of the chickens. I want yeah, man, thank you. We're gonna obtain a couple of horses here when this shit's all over with. Bet so, you 50 gold, you don't. <laughs> so, one, 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 Copius has, has stowed his pillow and chamber pot in a saddlebag. Sure. Two, as soon as I get my zonkey and Felix or, <laughs> or Leaf's zonkey saddled, we're out the door. Okay. I'm going to leave the stable boys to keep saddling the remaining mounts so that Leaf isn't so far ahead of us that he's completely on his own if something happens. Be 12 against me, Copious. Because that's worked so well for me so far tonight. <laughs> six. Oh, oh six. I, I know what I could have done. I bought that transmutation potion. I could have used that. Yes, you could have. 12. Into a whale. A giant uh, whale. A giant whale. And then I could be there more. already because you're so big. It, I mean, no. perfect sense. <laughs> the three dipshits are like, no, that saddle goes on that one, not this one. This, you gotta, I, feel like you gotta, there, gotta, I feel like that falling whale is the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I, I, I now see that I've wasted my money for six years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Robert, you finally find your room. There's your shit on the floor. Okay, you can gear up uh, this... Amazonian woman with facial tattoos says, hey, looking for some company tonight there, Stretch? Nah, I'm looking for my buddy. <laughs> what does he look like? He looks like, he looks like that the guy on the wall there. Did you see him? I don't I'm, I'm pointing to the painting downstairs. Uh, didn't you take that, Felix? Didn't you guys hijack the painting? No, we were thinking about it, but we didn't do it. Oh, okay. I, did. I was. Oh, yeah. Uh, he looks. He looks a lot like Johnny Longbow. If you what? want, I can introduce you. Sure. Longbow. Lead me the way. Like hey, Johnny. how you doing? That's not. It doesn't look like the guy downstairs. I'm holding on to my the hilt of my weapon. He opens up his chest to reveal an eight pack abs. And a longbow? Just, just a patch. No, he didn't go that far. He goes, I'm better than that guy. Yeah, but I'm specifically looking for that guy. Not any guy. Da, that da, guy. Da, 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 I was told he was up here in the room. <laughs> I, you know Did what? you not I, see him up here? I have been so busy. I am just plucked out. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, here, this Amazonian <laughs> looking broad, she's looking for some company. Why don't you help each other out? Oh, uh, no, we don't do that. That crosses lines. Well, next, right. time you, next time you're in here, you ask for Johnny Longbow. I will send Felix your way. Uh, Just remember Copious. the name, Felix the Great. Copious. Felix, the anguish is eating you alive at the incompetence of these morons trying to figure out which saddle goes where. I Haggis, Haggis and Manfanger just laughing, and oh, Robert just strolls on in. Hey, boys, what are we waiting for? 
That's it. There you go. Mine is shattered. I wanted to look around the. Uh, I was checking rooms to see if there's any open, and I'm going to start small fires. A few questions. Okay. <laughs> I, like like said, I just want to point out that in this group, I'm the one with the apparent most interest in your well-being. Yes, <laughs> I, I, yeah, not that much. I can see that. Well, but now, Leaf, Leaf, Leaf is in pursuit. We, 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 had a good, we had a good plan. We had a good plan of how we could get hey, you. Can, can, hey, can, can I, can I, can, listen, can, what can I change into with this potion? What is like, what is like something fast I can change into? You can change into a cheetah. A whale? It's pretty fast, but they only run fast for 10 seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Would you know that? <laughs> you can turn it Push on your chest to activate your specialty. See if you'd know that. Y you know what? <laughs> uh, maybe a uh, trash panda, a raccoon. They're pretty fast when they're getting chased. That'd be fast. Uh, a mosquito is pretty. Yeah, you could be a, a raccoon for what? About 15 feet. A I'm buzzer. Gonna, I, you could be a buzzer. <laughs> You know How about what? a I'm falcon? Gonna I'm going to transform into a hawk. I heard giraffes teleport, man thing. I'm going to pop I'm gonna pop open the potion Wait, and drink it. Hey, man thing, that, let me, man thing. Dragon. How long will that potion last? One hour. You better fly close to the ground. Yeah, that's what I was planning on. I'm going to go as a hawk because I think a dragon would be a bad idea. But a dragon might also. Oh, God. <laughs> dragon, this Wiver, Wiver. All right, I'll drink the potion and turn into a pterodactyl. I want to be Wiver, not a pterodactyl. <laughs> Wiver, something bad is about to happen to the party. Oh my I want to be like a giant <laughs> bird, something like ginormous. A dragon. What this has left already. <laughs> Just laying that out there. <laughs> It's gonna be funny if you think it's like you're taking a hit of acid and you think you're a dragon walking around doing this. I'm a dragon! I'm a dragon! I'm a dragon! So copious, are you are you waiting for both buttercup and leaf smout or just one or the other? Just one or the other. Whichever one is here. Odd Felix, even leaf. Please be leaf. Uh you got buttercup. Buttercup is saddled and ready to go. There you go, mister. Sorry about the delay. <laughs> I'm going to take your gold coin, I'd and I'm going to like bounce it off the guy's forehead as hard as he possibly can. I'd still like tell him, here's another one to finish saddling the others. You <laughs> Hit him. <laughs> Dexterity is your modifier. God, I hope you miss. <laughs> I'm drinking my potion already, because I'd still like to drink it and turn into a hawk. Sure, yeah, you can be a hawk. Uh, Copious, uh, roll a d20. If it's 17 or above, you knock him out. Six. Okay, you leave a mark on him. Uh, he is not happy. You skedaddle off down the road trying to catch up with Leaf the Warhorse. Frankie, you uh, fly at the same speed that I run as a horse, 60. Yeah. Uh, six, yeah six. That's if a hawker doesn't catch him and make him his own stock. That's right. Yeah. So uh, since it's after midnight, everybody but Felix gets one level of exhaustion because he's been on his back most of the night. <laughs> Isn't that where he right? is? But what what do I mark when I mark exhaustion? Do I just say I'm exhausted? Uh, your ability rolls are at disadvantage. So uh, Manfang, Ahagas, and Robert – you guys are the ones at the airport waiting for the next tram because your zonkeys aren't ready to go. Uh, Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and Tweedledumber, uh, one of them has a mark on his forehead, are all, <laughs> what do we set up next? Uh, Copious, um, I have a song. Give chase. Which zonkey is yours? Um, the Zonkey. The only other Zonkey, because I know you have Leafs and Felix and no, Copious I just have one. His, I, so it'd I, be I, the only... Co Copious has Copious and Buttercup. So mine's still there. Okay, then I office. am... Okay, so I would like to saddle up two Zonkeys, please. <clears throat> okay, which ones do you want? We have a fine selection. Two Zonkeys there. Two How Zonkeys. Many... How many Zonkeys are there? You have more than... two. Yeah. Right. So you, yeah, do, you want both. both. Ours. We s they're both yours. Yeah. So you want both of them. Yeah. Not the chicken. Yeah. 
No, you, you want the chickens too. Want the chickens. Chickens are. Get the chickens too. The two men behind me. But there are three the chickens. Me, there's only two right guys, now. but there's three chickens. That's that, right. That math doesn't. I'm not. I'm not sure. I can, I, I would just, like two zonkies, and the two zonkies are mine. Uh, uh, worry John, about the other party members for the chickens. Okay. Well, we can choose the two zonkies. <laughs> I'm gonna nickel and dime you guys your entire careers. <laughs> I would just like to mention that I am already in hey, the August. How, 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 how does, um, August, how we already you, paid to stable them damn zonkeys. Just get them. Okay, yeah. Yeah, they're, we paid for them to be here. Take oh, them a day early, so. Well, yeah, but you woke us up. So there should no, be. No, he didn't uh, wake you up. Copious. It'd be a shame if I put you back to sleep. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. <laughs> oh, 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 no witnesses! No how many are there? If, if, just, just to think about it, how many are three guys? Three so, guys. and Manfang and Robber are at the other Hey, place. those are three halflings. Wait, hey, just so you know, I'm not, I'm I'm not, not in the situation. I'm just so you know, I've already drank the potion and I'm in the air flying. Wait. The direction that they were going. Are you sure you're going in the right direction, Man Fang? Well, I saw him go out the window. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the window was facing this way, so I'm just going to go the wind. The hey, was make facing. an intelligent roll. No! So you're you're going to follow Copious, right? Give me an intelligent uh, is Copious roll. already going? Oh, yeah, he's gone. Yeah, he's going well. The shit's in the wind. Yeah, I'm, go I'm going to follow Copious then. Okay. Uh, what I'll, exactly did Man Fang turn into? A hawk. Uh, We're sure uh, he turned into a hawk, right? Yeah. Can I change it? Not a pterodactyl, just a hawk. Okay. I think the Follow the three stars. When you so, look back, Copious, you see you see Man Thing doing this. <laughs> He's running down the road. <laughs> running, running, down the road. <laughs> running down the road. <laughs> <laughs> you got rooked on your potion, dude. <laughs> you got crushed. Uh, <laughs> Stay. <laughs> Haggis, uh, the the three amigos finally get the saddles on correctly for the two zonkeys and go. There you go, Mister. Thank you. I get on and I head off. <laughs> Can I help you, Robert Zeppelin? Get all three. I'm setting seconds. rooms on fire, starting between J and M. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fair enough. I'm checking doors, doing a little knock. You, you know, you know, Felix's life is on the line, right? <laughs> yes, we do. He took my woman. Days. I, said, I, I love that it. woman. I, I don't think he took. I think he borrowed. And yeah, he he did some kind of spell. Rented. 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 Uh, you find three paladin-looking dudes with eagles eating dove tattoos on them. What do you want? Uh, just checking. Did you need a wake-up call? No. Okay. <laughs> Have a good night. Nice. Oh, nice. Oh, 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 oh. Do you work here? Yeah. Yeah. We had to pay for our dinner, so I'm doing wake-up call checks. So let me ask you a question here. This stupid book magazine thingy. Do I use that in the... Blue? Yes. Be careful of the staples. Is there a page that you would highly recommend that's softer than the others? The one with the Vold Bitters on it? <laughs> I had, I had bitters, I hear, is good I shit know. paper. <laughs> I hear the labels are amazingly soft and delicate. But make it's sure like you use the, the front-facing label. The back's <laughs> got this tacky stuff, and if you got hair back there, it's nasty. I got hair back there. Thanks. Then make sure you're using the front. They but shut stick the your hand so it doesn't slide out when you go. Yeah, it, the, those three rooms in a row, all occupied by these dudes, and they're all uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, you are alone in the roadhouse. Well, you have no help. <laughs> uh, would you like to go down to the stables? <sighs> I guess as soon as I go to those master rooms and set them on fire. There is nobody in the stables. 
when you get there. No, you, you can hear there any, any zonkeys there or anything. No, there's three giant chickens. <laughs> giant chickens. <sighs> I guess I'll get on. A, is there? I'll get on a chicken. Okay. Just one. From leaving the other two chickens. You better take all of them, but I might as well. I'll grab the chickens. Strangely enough, these are not fleet of foot. So you are Festus coming up at the end. I am going to, uh, before I go, though, I'm going to, well, where's my four-sided dice here? I'm going to cast so, a little so bonfire in the stables before sure. I go. I don't work. Because, you know, you guys don't have to come back this way. No. <laughs> well, yeah, we do. But, hey, what the hell? Yeah. So the important role now is to Felix. I need a D20 and a D4. Come on, uh, Felix. More or less indicating 24 hours. 19 and a 2. Dumbass. 21. So 21 hours pass. Uh, Mayan Fang, uh, you can feel the hawkness evaporating. Do you want to go low on the road as you follow copious so, yeah. so when you when you turn out you're you got a good glide going yeah because you get the angle the the angle is much better for you Be careful that you don't skip off the planet and zoom out in the space that's true yeah as, as man <laughs> as man fang caught up with anybody he's got keen sight as a he, he's with copious so he just I remember this is a hilly terrain since I'm a hawk and I'm in the air, can I like see him, like war horse? No, because your dark vision does not extend far enough. You can see uh, coaches. You are above and slightly ahead. Okay, then I, I guess if I can't see him, I'll just keep following coaches. Take a crap. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a good idea. I after after about eight hours, uh, leaf. Your warhorse powers are drained. You They're are gone. I, I, that's only good for two hours. Oh, okay. Uh, so after two hours, about another hour, Copious and Manfang, who has reverted back to Manfang form uh, and jumped on Buttercup, uh, arrive to meet you. But okay. the zonkeys are spoken for, and you. Be that's walking. not a problem. I, I can change again. Uh, at two in the morning. The level of exhaustion has taken its course. You are quite tired. Mm -hmm. uh, Haggis will catch up at about the three hour mark. Uh, Bombadilla, Bombadilla. Robert and his three giant chickens will be suitably behind you. Uh, this is day three. And you no, are off I'm course. Gonna talk to the, the rest of the group. I, I mean, if we're like two levels of exhaustion in, it doesn't matter what time in the morning it is, I'm going to be thinking there's no way that we're pushing through the night. No. Because that bounty hunter doesn't know we're on her trail. She escaped from the, the roadhouse. Right. And she may have pressed through for a number of hours, but she, at some point she had to have camped just like we're, we need to do. You got to be, and we can't be that far behind her. So I, I'm going to say we need at least a short rest uh, at the very least here. Yeah, I agree. And with that, is it wooded on both sides of the trail or is it sparse woods? What are we looking at? Yep, it is uh, small copses of trees, rolling, gonna, undulating hills. I'm going to ask Leaf, is there any spells that you have that we can use to to stand watch or provide some warning because none of us can stay on our feet at this point. Uh, that's a good question. With that, I'm pretty much just going to tie my horse off to a tree, not even pulling the saddle off. I'm going to pull my bed roll and my pillow out, and I'm going to sleep. It is a very comfortable pillow. I'm going to say, oh. He's going to sink back into it, and he's going to grumble under his breath this whole the whole. In the night. middle of the uh, night, middle of the up, night, got cheated out of his night's sleep. After he falls asleep, I'm just going to try and take his blanket. I'll go. Ahead, I can go ahead and cast cast a uh, sanctuary. What's that do? On you guys, and I'll just get in between you, and we'll snuggle down and zonk out. 
Oh, snuggle time. Cool beans. Yeah. Uh, well, you're one shy in the uh, PC department, but you ha have left Smidgey's Roadhouse in flames. Uh, Robert, you will catch up taking your leisurely pace of uh, as you try and be the Easter Bunny. Uh, this sounds like a good place to stop for the night. Uh, Robert, you were only here a short time. What'd you think? I wish I could have burnt more of the building. I like to set things on fire. There is a fire suppression system here at Smidgey's. I had a feeling that's why I just went with the uh, stables. Yeah, that's a good idea. Now, the stables do not have a fire suppression uh, system, so you will have succeeded there. But there were probably a lot of people like paladins that had their steeds quartered in there that we may have burned up. And the Amazons. They don't know I did it. That's true. No, they just know that all of us ran off in the middle of the night and then there was a fire left in the stable. Because we were chasing after that half orc who set the fire and took off with our friend. No, we're chasing after that Felix who once again got him into a mess. <laughs> Wait a second. You're going to blame all this shit? Oh, well, hell yes, we are. <laughs> Mr. Setting fire to shit, running around naked, uh, uh, trying to peddle yeah, his yeah. And what alcohol were you, all over and the place. And what were you doing when you got bound up like a carp and thrown over a saddle? I. <laughs> What? She was a what? nice lady. Yeah, I was simply yeah, a nice yeah, lady. Nice lady. <laughs> yeah, nice lady. Yeah, right. Nice lady. <laughs> Uh, Jason, what Jason, what do you think? Oh, <laughs> so, you know what? Your room was amazingly comfortable. Amazing. If you could have slept in it, yeah. Amazingly. I really like Smidge's Roadhouse, and I I am have some anxiety about trying to stay there on the <clears> way <throat> back right now because we're three. This is day three. Of 10 days we have to complete this quest. And, and you're off track. We but it, west is where we were heading, so at least we're not horribly off track, right? We had to go one hex west. Smidge's Roadhouse, we needed to go north, didn't we? So that way or that way? If we're not horribly off way, track. Or this way. I'm just hoping that it was actually Felix on that second horse. That, that would be a problem if it wasn't. Well, but I'm, not, we're going to kill her anyways just for the hell of it. I'm sure it's probably him. Probably. Uh, little Frankie, what'd you think? I thought it was great. I made 25 gold from waiting tables. Yeah, you got a second profession, man. That can't go I know. Not, not I could be a bus boy in any restaurant. Yeah, I mean, you, you've got the resume. I, I, I can update my re resume from mass murder to mass murder with a bus boy accident. Yeah, I, I, I think you are in excellent shape. I know. I could get any job I wanted now. Hi, uh, Nicholas, what'd you think? Well, I enjoyed it. A man, a few <laughs> words, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> Frank, Frank Sr., what do you think? <laughs> Oh crap! I knew one way or another you're gonna hose us. So <laughs> me? Yes, yes <laughs> absolutely. Because you played to the weaknesses in this group. Uh, you know what? Oh my God, you yes. you criminals are gonna get what's coming uh -huh. to you, uh -huh. <laughs> one way or another. Uh, so I thought the ruins were to the north of of Smidge's Roadhouse. Nope, to the uh, west. One one so hex that's a west dark circle that you one hex marked north. now. Uh, if they are correct, it's here, here, or here. Okay. Well, my next question is: we weren't able to catch up with what's her name, so she had to be riding hard to stay ahead. That sounds legitimate to me. Okay. All right, uh, I had a good time. AJ, what no you surprises. Say? <laughs> I am so disappointed that my party didn't even look in Smidge's Roadhouse for me. For all they know, I'm burning up with the Paladins. I was looking. Yeah, he was looking. Robert was looking. Why are 
you looking or were you just <laughs> setting shit on fire? You didn't I even was looking to room. set shit on fire. I was checking well, room. Department doing room checks. Hey, we went with Man Fang's lead. Using his great intelligence, he looked at that <laughs> yeah, that poster and decided that you were the body scrapped of that horse. So we went after it. <laughs> That You're is fair. Man Fang's intelligence. <laughs> Damn right uh, we did. Oh, uh, lucky me. <laughs> it yeah. cannot go wrong. Cannot. Yeah, yeah. Cannot. My intelligence. But, yeah, good. I'm still having a good time. There you go, folks. Uh, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you watching. We hope you had a good time as much as these guys did. Uh, Felix didn't get to do much role playing, but that's what happens when you're bound and gagged. So yeah. at, at least Buttercup is still in one piece at this time. Follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. Mm -hmm. If you want to shoot shit about D and D, join the Discord. If you want to buy our crap, go ahead. Most importantly, if you want to join us on one shot this coming Saturday. Or on the talk show on Tuesday, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail. We will get you on the show. Uh, thank you to our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice, for Dice That Don't Suck, and for oddfishgames.com, whose adventure sense makes even the stinkiest play smell a whole lot better. Don't forget, they also have the shine system if you want to learn how to write. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., we will see you on Tuesday for the talk show. Thank you very much for joining us, and we hope the weekend is good to you. Mwah. Bye, everybody. Everybody wave and smile. <laughs>